Hi, my name is Oaks Fegley. I am uh, playing Adam in Adam the First, and I am really excited to talk with you today. This was such an intense film. What'd you have to do to audition for it? With this one, it was actually um, a bit of a unique process because um, I didn't really actually audition for this one. I um, I got the script in my inbox um, and and I read it and I set up a meeting with Irving, the director, and um, immediately, you know, I sort of had this interest in the project that I had this interest in um the character specifically and a lot of the um the fun action that was going to take place in the film and so i i really wanted to to be a part of it and we we set up that meeting and then after that i think we we talked maybe one more time either on the phone or on another like zoom meeting call um and um that was it that was it and then i flew out to mississippi to film it you play that part so well that I'm like, I couldn't picture anybody else doing it either. So I feel like um, that you. was a good call. And I'm That's Thank fascinating you. that it's like not like the traditional audition kind of situation. Yeah. Very cool. Um, but we saw that you're going to be in another project called Dark Matter with Jennifer Conley and Joel Edgerton. Yeah. Um, and that seems like a very different project from this like film. So how do you decide what roles that you like want to go after? I mean, I'm always looking for new stuff. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's difficult to make those decisions, whatever. But um, I'm I'm always excited to jump into things that are a little bit different than maybe something I've done in the past. Um, that's always cool. It's also, you know, um, I think it's very important to kind of show those colors. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't have, like, a set – rule book for what I choose and what I don't choose it's just if I if I connect to the material and you know my team as well my team is amazing and I'm I trust them a lot with you know their their guidance um as well so we we have conversations about everything and um you know if something really hits the mark then then uh, I go for it and that's that's truly kind of how it works it's just it's just a process of um you know, throwing myself out there for stuff and also taking what's coming in and, and figuring out what makes sense and what works for me. That's awesome. I love it. And we're so excited to get to see more, um, more roles from you. So very, very exciting. Um, Thank you. Okay. In one of the opening scenes, you're riding a horse. Um, what was that experience like? Have you like ridden horses for, for a project before? And was that actually you riding it when it was like, later on in the movie when you're running really fast <laughs> so um it's multi multi-part question um i i had not like rid i mean I've, I've ridden horses before but i don't believe i've ridden uh a horse on camera um so this was my first time like doing that and it was definitely fun it's another thing that really interested me about this project like i said um it's like new challenges that I have to to figure out. And um this the stunt coordinator on this this movie is was absolutely amazing. Um one of the coolest people I've ever met. His name was Dale Gibson. And um he he taught me how to ride um for for this move like for this movie. I mean, he taught me how to ride and look more professional when doing it and look comfortable and um that was that was a challenge, so that was something that he really helped with. He was always watching, always making sure that it um that it worked for him. And um, you know, I, I don't think we could have done this even close without him. Um and then for your other part of your question, I did not there was only the like one scene where he's like riding, like bolting with this galloping horse. That was not me. That was uh I think his name was Jace, my stunt double. Okay. Um, but for the other stuff, there's one time when I like swing up onto the horse um, from the side that was me and then I think the rest of it was me but um yeah yeah it was it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun we had some awesome horses and they were they were really cool they were always on set you know I was um, able to kind of hang out with them get to know them as well which was cool that's super cool. Yeah, we were also gonna ask um if you if you got along with the horses and if they like had had names or anything. <laughs> I don't remember. I know the one was definitely called Blondie a couple times, but I don't know if that was her actual like name. 
Uh, I don't remember exactly, to be honest. That's okay. There's probably a lot of names you have to remember anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. At the end of the film, uh, Haley Buick, and we won't spoil anything, but she sings like 50% from the Broadway musical Barham. Was that filmed live or like pre-recorded? Because it's such an emotional moment. And it had some tears. <laughs> Uh, that was filmed live. That was wow. filmed live. Um, it's a crazy, it's a crazy shot. And I, I won't go into it too much if we're not trying to spoil it, but, um, yeah, that was filmed live and it's a, it's a cool moment. Um, and so, uh, you know, the way Irving framed that and set it up, um, was, was really cool. I'm, I'm glad that it came out the way it did. Oh, I really liked that like whole scene. I thought that that was really yeah very creative I was a fan so <laughs> okay how was it carrying around that like I guess you'd call it like a knapsack or like a backpack throughout the yeah. entire film did you have like a way you were like you carried it like a method I think there was I can't remember quite off the top of my head um but I always pretty much carried it I think with one one arm not the two arm like there was like um kind of a specific shoulder that I used. I think it was my left shoulder that I always kept it on. Um, and that was just sort of Adam's, you know, um, I don't know, his, um, the physicality of how, you know, how he, how he carries, you know, his things around and how, how, whatever, how he carried his bag. So that was what I, what I did for that. Um, but there's sometimes when, I would ask for certain things to be put in the bag to make it seem a little heavier um, or take things out because it was too heavy when I was doing certain things. Um, but yeah, I mean, nothing too crazy with that. Are you allowed to say like what was in the bag? Like, was there anything interesting in there? <laughs> I think for the most part, Irving wanted the weight of it to seem real. So we had most of the, the real props in the bag at all times, or at least a like a, a second copy. Um so we normally had that. Um, and then there was a couple, of, I don't remember exactly, but there was probably certain things we used for just weight. And um, that might have been, I don't know, fruit, something. Yeah. I have no idea what we put in there, <laughs> to be honest. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> um, fruit in the bag. Love it, love it, love it. Um, but that would weigh it down. So that's cool yeah. that the, the actual props were in there, though. I wouldn't have thought yeah. of that. But I feel like that makes sense. <laughs> it does. Um, okay, you got to work with some really uh, talented and well-known actors in this, like T.R. Knight and David. I don't know how to say his last name. Um, name yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, what was that kind of like? Did you learn anything from them, like acting-wise or like in your personal life even that you're going to take with you after this project? You know, I think well, with both of them, they, they were incredible actors. It was um, uh, very fun to to work opposite both of them. Um, very different energy from each of those two actors um I don't think I would say that I learned anything directly in terms of like working but um yeah I mean it's always cool to meet new people and and to you know work alongside them and see how other people work and even if I don't necessarily notice it I think um I always pick up pick up small little details here and there from from other people so um I don't know I don't have anything specific to say, but they were awesome. And, um, you know, like there's, there's that one scene with, with David, I, I really didn't have too many scenes I got to share with them, but, um, that one, um, really nice, like father, son kind of scene, um, was outside. Um, and it was just in this beautiful, um, kind of swampy Mississippi swamp, basically. Um, and, it was just, it was very cool. The way he works off of, off of um, what you're giving him and um, you know, what he throws back to you and, and like working with somebody who's so used to that. And so used to um, uh, obviously just working with high, high quality talent. It was, it was awesome to, um, to share the screen with them. And, you know, that brings a, a specific kind of presence to the scene. Um, and it brings a, just a comfortable kind of back and forth, comfortable um, relationship. Um, and yeah, that was, that was really nice. It was really fun doing it. Absolutely. That totally makes sense. Um, in terms of like really cool people that you've worked with, um, we were going to ask last year, you got to work 
um, on the, like the Fablemans with Steven Spielberg. And yeah. was there anything that you learned from him or from that like whole filming experience experience to like help you take on the role of Adam and Adam the first? The order of events was I filmed, I filmed Adam the first, I think the year before. And okay. then, or maybe it was a couple months before. And then I think that summer I filmed the Fablements. They just All came right. out in a different order. Um, so it wasn't quite like that, but absolutely. I mean, I, I learned so much from, from that project and, um, yeah, working with Steven was a, a dream come true for me, to be honest. And, and it's, uh, it's just always really cool to, to work with somebody like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was, it was an amazing experience. The Fablemans was, um, a very different, I played a very different role um in that film and that was um also really cool because like i said earlier um i, I really like to to jump into things that are different um and uh and that was definitely something different for me and a, a lot more intense a lot more dark a lot more mean and i had a lot of fun with that because i, I don't normally play roles like that so yeah. you know you get to explore different things and explore a different side of um you know yourself and that's that's really cool absolutely and i love that movie too the fablements was yeah. like pivotal for me so that was it's very cool to get to hear about that too and it's that's interesting i wouldn't have known that about the the order i guess yeah. sometimes things take a lot <laughs> longer to like produce and like kind of yeah. you know, come to it always depends it always depends um yeah. every every project is completely different and sometimes there's you know bumps in the road and sometimes things take longer and um that's just that's kind of just the nature of things you know yeah that's showbiz <laughs> yeah honestly <laughs> okay adam the first doesn't have like a whole bunch of dialogue um like they're speaking but um you have to kind of use a lot of facial expressions to kind of convey like what's going on so was that something new or um was that like difficult for you at all i would say that's like that's first of all that's very accurate there's a lot of um there's a lot of times when there's a, there's really no other characters. So it was just me in the the space. Um, one thing really cool about, about the actual locations that we filmed in were, were all very, very different and um, kind of gave off their own um, vibe and added to the, the specifics of each each um different location that Adam kind of travels to. And so that definitely helped me to like um to just react off of honestly the space and um truly just like living through Adam's experiences. And I I mean there's no other real way to to really explain that. It was definitely not too too difficult in that sense. Um the the locations that we chose were pretty cool um we had some some awesome places that we, we were able to travel to all pretty close to jackson mississippi mm -hmm. which is somewhere i never would have been without filming this thing so um i'm you know i'm thankful for that and thankful for our locations team for finding all those places and um you know making that happen and i've i've been to jackson mississippi one time There's not a whole lot going on there but it's really no. pretty <laughs> yeah it is like there's there's certain um certain really cool like pockets here and there mm -hmm. um the city itself is so is so small and um yeah. you know there's not like like you said there's not much to do there so yeah, yeah. it was cool to to kind of get around we've got a couple more for you um but what's the most challenging part of working on this film and how do you overcome it most challenging you know it's always difficult like um it's always difficult with um you know smaller smaller films to to just like navigate certain certain challenges and things like that that um are are budget related and that there's nothing you can do to get around that so part of that is the fun of working on independent movies but it always brings about 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 its own problems and troubles um and so i would say that's that's something um but also, like I, like I said before, like there was a lot of very specific locations. And when you're working with actual 
nature and you have to get out there and like walk around i was in boots for the entire film and i was in denim for the whole thing so like sometimes i was really hot sometimes i was freezing sometimes i was you know stepping into mud and mm -hmm. probably tripping all over myself so well we have no idea but i mean um yeah sometimes there's challenges with that too mm -hmm. um yeah that's uh yeah. that's what i would say it's 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 always different for each project too and you never know what to expect that's so true i kind of didn't think about how you would probably be wearing the same thing for like a really long time while you're filming but <laughs> that well, that's <laughs> that's something specific to this one too is like i um i was in one costume for like almost the entire movie mm -hmm. um and so it was it was and that was a choice that that irving wanted to make you know he wanted it to kind of give off this through line and um and have um have adam kind of be this, this um it's kind of specific figure throughout the entire film and so he wanted to create that and one of the things he did to do that was yeah to put me in in a very specific outfit the whole time and um it was cool because i i was very comfortable in those clothes for a very long time like i, I became very um uh they became part of adam if that makes sense yeah which was which was really cool in a, in a way it was um helped to you know, put you put you in that space and put me in that space when I was filming. So, okay, something that was really cool about this film was like you like smoke a cigarette and you also like have to hold a gun for a lot of it. Did you have to like learn like how to do that like naturally before like have like kind of choreography on how to do it, or did you like kind of just feel it out? I mean, with the I've actually. <laughs> I've smoked cigarettes on picture a couple of times now um, for different projects, oh. um, which is it's always weird because they're not even like real cigarettes. Most of the time, they're like <laughs> herbal, herbal blend cigarettes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so, I mean, I've I've found that sort of comfort, whatever. But um, the the gun is, is something that was new. I, I haven't really had any experience with that before. So this again was um something that Dale Gibson our stunt coordinator helped me with a lot and um helped me to to look comfortable with the specific guns that Adam has to use um there's really only I think two that he uses throughout the film um but it was it was interesting cuz like I, that's something that I've never really done before so we had um you know great people making sure everybody was safe and and um nothing went wrong and uh checking all the all the equipment and um you know that was a very important step on any set um and so that was something that definitely you know scares everybody yeah. when you have uh, firearms on set so it's a it's a it's a scary thing but yeah we had, a, we had some great great people making sure everything was good um okay cool was there anything like funny that happened off camera that you can like share about i mean there was definitely some some again some challenges with like weather um when oddly enough mississippi in february like oddly enough mississippi in february is it's fairly warm and in, in terms of like um it doesn't get um crazy cold down there but there was a couple of days when the wind was just ridiculous and um there was one scene where we have like live um uh practical like fire effect basically and um so there was this, this huge fire and the wind was just blowing everywhere so it was it was just like a a crazy day outside where we had fire going and this wind was blowing and um it was all of a sudden very cold but the fire was very warm and it was like it was very um intense and kind of surreal um, which actually kind of works perfectly for the moment that it comes in the scene. Um, and, uh, and it was just a, a weird, awkward, um, day on set, but it was, it was, uh, translated pretty well to the screen, which I'm, I'm always happy with. You never know. Sometimes those weird moments are some of the best moments to capture because they just have a, a more realistic, a more, um, 
uncomfortable nature. And sometimes that's exactly what you need for, for the moment. And that's like, um, sometimes gives you some really cool stuff. So I kind of didn't think about it. Like the, a lot of the movies like filmed outside. So weather yeah. would be such a big deal. That's, that's so interesting. Um, <laughs> good answer. Okay. Well, the very last question that we have for you is like, what's one thing that you'd like people to take away from after watching this film? You know, I think one thing that in particular, um, Adam definitely learns throughout the course of the film. If if not, it's it, it might be the most important thing that he learns throughout the film is that you you can find, you know, um you can find comfort and you can find um meaning in a lot of different relationships with a lot of different people, and you can learn a lot from a lot of different people. Um and all you have to do is, you know, really um not open up to them necessarily, but you have to, you have to, um, you know, build a relationship with these different people. And that's, um, something that's very important. And I think that's kind of a, a really cool message because especially in today's world with everyone being so chronically online and, um, you know, it, it becomes, uh, it becomes uh, like in, intense sometimes. And to have, like real human interaction is a really good thing. And so I'm uh I'm I'm happy that this uh you know this film carries that through line and um emphasizes the importance of like making those real human connections. Um because it's a it's an invaluable thing. Um and you really can't get that um from anywhere else. So that's really that's like a really sweet little message. I love it. <laughs> um <laughs> Well, we love the film. We're so excited for it to come out. Um, thanks so much again for hanging out with us. We really Thank appreciate you. it. Hi, my name is Oaks Fegley, and I play Adam in Adam the First. And thank you so much for, for being with me today. And uh, please subscribe to Young Entertainment. Bye.